Hello everyone, it's Leah back with another video and today we're going to be talking about gradients and colors. Um, so the first thing I want to do is bring in an image. Let's see, I'll bring in this butterfly. You all probably can't see me bringing this in. And I'll make it bigger so you can see this. Boom. So one thing is with images, you can change the colors and make a gradient if you want. You can click on a butterfly and press the layer effects. And when you click on the layer effects, it opens up a lot of stuff. So it'll open up the gradient overlay. As you can see, it turned it that kind of way. But I'll show you if you click on it, you can change it. So let's pick a few colors here. This blue. And if we press insert, we can pick another color. Let's see, let's put this light blue. I'm gonna press this white, pick another color. Let's say pink. So as you can see, it changed that way. Now we come in here into blend mode. We'll see it change multiple ways, but we're gonna pick color. Now color dodge, but color. So you scroll down and pick color and as you can see it changed everything and you can come in and move it around as you can see it move you come in and make it turn it if you want to turn it also you can go back uh, and if you wanted just a regular color you can come here to color overlay see it did the same thing again but you come here and press color again instead and it'll change that color. So let's put our gradient back on. I think we need to go in there and change it. Okay. And here we can come in and you can this way you add your outlines and your glows at different things that and if you add as y'all can see, it is sticking it up for the outline, but you wouldn't add an outline around something like this. But they have glows, outer glows, inner glows, different glows, different things. You can use that for more like letters and stuff. Another thing is, if we come here to layer, well, yeah, add a new pixel layer. We can go to the paint bucket, and we can fill it. Let's fill it in black. Let's see. So we fill it in black. You can drag it under there if you want, and also come back and press the FX button. Press this here, the gradient, and you can change the gradients here if you want. So you can come in and also change the background. Okay. Let's press insert. Picking random colors, so I don't think I have any purpose to these colors. I'm picking just picking random colors, and as we learned um, in the last video, I did about masking. You can also come here, and if you had something behind here or anything that you wanted to reveal, you can come and press mask layer. Matter of fact, we're gonna do this first. I'm gonna press this here, this pixel layer. We're gonna Let's see, fill it in red, I guess. I don't know. Pick a color, fill it in. Boom. Let me drag that under here. As you see, you can't see it, right? So we can take the mask, click on the mask, and like I said before, click the paintbrush. Make sure it's selected to black. Make sure that's selected to black and come in and as you can see the red is coming out right you can see the red coming in so this is a way that you can do this also you know creating the pictures and the background
you know, so that's a the way. So you just learn about the coloring. Also, if you want to come in here to um the adjustments, adjustments can also change stuff too. So you can add it and actually make it black and white if you want. And as you can see, everything changed to black and white. But what we can do is, if we only want the butterfly back and white, we can just come in and change it. But we'll have to go back and take this off also, change that kind of stuff. And then, boom, it's black and white. Come in adjustments. <clears throat> I keep pressing the mask later. I need to press adjustments. You can change the hue. You know, there's different things. Shadows, highlights. There's a lot of things in here that you can change. But we're just going to stick with the basics for right now. Thank you all for watching. So now you all to be able to do gradients in Affinity Photo and masking. Thank you all for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Please, please, please subscribe to my channel. Also, I started a Facebook group. It's called Learning with Leah. Please check it out. And I'll be posting videos and tips in there also on more things you can do. I'll, I won't only be teaching Affinity Photo. I'll be doing some stuff in Procreate, some stuff in Silhouette, different programs that I use. I will eventually be using Photoshop, but not right now because I think I can do enough in Affinity Photo. But I do know some things that can't be done in Affinity Photo. Or I'm not going to say it can't be done. It can be done. It's just a longer process, and I don't think it's worth it myself. So, see you all next time on the next video. Thanks.